All right, so we finished doing our opcodes. These are them right there, inputting, moving to registers, adding, saving it to a register, then dividing it, and then output, putting it back into memory. So how do we code that? Well, we open up HTML kit, and the instructions for that are in where to code. And once you have opened it up, we click on objects, and then we click on JavaScript, and now we have our JavaScript. So you can see over here that we have three places in memory that we have to store information uh, into and a place in memory that we have to put the result in. So we use the keyword var to let the um, interpreter know that we want to create places in memory. And we have m1, m2, m3, and m4. And then we end that with a semicolon. All right, so the next thing it wants us to do over here whoops, is, is to put 6 into M1. So I have a place in memory called M1. I want to assign to that place in memory what's returned. I mean, uh, assign to that place in memory the number 6. And then I do a semicolon because I'm done. Okay, then we continue. The next line is I have a place in memory called M2, and I wish to assign to that place in memory the number eight and then a semicolon ends the line I have a place in memory called m3 I wish to assign to that place in memory the number two and I'm done all right so now all three of those are in and I have to start doing some math so the math that I do is starts right here adding here register one and register two but we don't do registers in JavaScript we do places in memory so I have to multiply um, 6 and 8, not add, okay. yeah, add 6 and 8 together. So I'm going to say I have a place in memory called M4. And I wish to assign to that place in memory what's returned when I take what's in M1 and add it to M2. That's, I'm done. Then the next line, we don't have to worry about this MAR, but we have to divide. So I'm going to say, I have a place in memory called M5, and I wish to assign to that place in memory what's returned when I take what's in M4. So 8 and 6 is 14, and then I'm going to divide it by what's in M3, which is 2, M3, and then semicolon. And now I've done all the math. So now I'm going to use a document dot write. And I'm going to output what's in M5. Now I have one little thing extra to do. I only put four places in memory here because that's what I had here. But since we used a place in memory to store that answer, we ended up with five. And that's what I want to output. So I'm going to add one more place in memory up here, M5. And then when I go ahead and preview it, it should show me the number seven. Come on. Preview number seven. There you go. So number seven. All right. And that is the end of this video. Well, let's just do one last thing. And that is once I'm done with this, I need to save it so I can uh, maybe upload to the Dropbox. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. It's going to ask me where to want to save it. And I can go ahead and. Um, oh, man. Where is the. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the desktop for now. So I'm going to put in here um, averaging two numbers. It's going to automatically put, uh, well, I'll put it .htm anyway, .htm. And then I'll go ahead and save it. Okay, so now this is now saved and I can upload it. But suppose I close this and I want to go back and fix it. I would simply go up to the uh, open file, find my file, and there it is, averaging two numbers. Click on it and do open, and there it is. So editor allows me to write my code. Preview allows me to see what it does when I run it. And it goes back and forth, and then we save it. All right, that's it.